uh, here I have a, uh, a project set up. Um, and the only interesting things about it is that I have a bunch of tracks that are assigned to inputs. Uh, I have two outputs. One is uh, sending to my um, speakers. The other is sending to, um, to my headphone mix, uh, the first two master outputs. Um, so I configured this web browser interface running on the default port. That's my IP. Um, so if I open up my phone and go to the, that URL, um, you will see the default web interface appear. And it has uh, some buttons and, uh, and then a list of tracks with options for them. So uh, I close this. I have my project and I have my web interface. So now I can go off to the studio, which is this area. And, uh, and do some stuff. So uh, I didn't really arm anything for recording, so I can go ahead to my drums track, arm it. Now it's armed. And uh, if I want to record some drums, then I can just hit record, and it's recording. Now uh, I might play something. And then I might like, yeah, I don't want to keep that. So I can hit abort, and, uh, and it'll automatically stop the recording uh, in the mode where it deletes everything that you re just recorded. Uh, it prompts you since that's kind of destructive. But uh, here, so I'll record something and let's do this as a demo. Uh, we'll just keep it nice and short so that you don't have to listen to my music. Uh, there we are. So now we can Play it back. All right, that'll do. Uh, so uh, I can go ahead and unarm the drums track. Let's go grab these headphones here. Go over to the piano. Uh, set this here. I'm not going to play this sheet music. It's just left over. Let's play what we have here. do, but uh, you know, the speakers are still on, so I'll just go ahead and turn them off, keep the headphone mix, go to the piano, and uh, you know, I, I like to hear the piano through my, uh, through my headphones, so let's do that and make it nice and loud. There we go. So now, uh, piano's armed, project's ready to go. Ah, screwed that up. Let's try it again. I just really should not be doing this. All right. That'll have to do. So I'll turn, disarm the piano, put the main outs back on so we can hear it. volume back down to a reasonable level. All right, so uh, let's do some clarinet now here. Uh, let's see here. Ah. Uh, let's see. Let's see if this is, uh, is this number two? Turn, check, check, check. There it is. Uh, let me turn those speakers off because it's loud. All right, so uh, need a music need a music stand here. Or some need a music stand here. Or something. I'm not looking down enough. I apologize for this video. Uh, all right, so let's. Uh, All right, I think I like that, but I think it needs a high part too. So what I'm going to do is uh, 
I can clone this track without the media and uh, it'll ask me for a new name. Oh yeah, this is actually a clarinet, clarinet two. So now we have the new track, clarinet two, has no media. Let's arm it and record that. Let's turn the main out back on and play it. So that, that's pretty much you have it. Uh, you can also do things like you can jump to position, you can enter a marker with it, you put an M and go to a marker, that sort of thing there. Uh, you can also rename the tracks if you want. Uh, you probably can't see any of this because my camera is really not good and I don't know what I'm doing, but there you have it. That's, uh, that's the demo. Doo -doo. All right.